I've devoted the last four years of my life to building this library around me book by book, starting with this first book from 1986 and now collecting, studying, rereading and applying the information from over 600 trauma and psychology books. Because honestly, let me be real with you, I reached a point in my self-development and self-healing journey where I was fundamentally frustrated and disappointed by the shallowness and the repetitiveness of what I was finding on the internet. I knew that there had to be more, but I was listening to podcasts and going on social media, and it seemed like I was encountering the same puddle of information rather than the truly deep ocean of self-healing information which I knew must be out there. So I took my history degree kind of thinking and I've spent the last four years being utterly obsessed with finding the best books from the past and if I'm going to be real with you, the average publication date from any book in this room is probably in the 1980s. I have gone back before I was even born and I've now got something which I'm pleased to share with you which is my first course, the Shadow Work Library online course and don't take my word for it because it's not even focused on my word or my lived experiences. This is a structured 36 book curriculum, the top percent of the top percent. I've read over 600 books, I reread 150 of them, and then I took the top 36, put it into a nine module structured curriculum, and now I can share it with you. So this video is going to break it down module by module. I'm going to bring out my laptop in just a second. You're going to see every single lesson. You can go into the pinned comment and see every lesson while you listen to this. I've put it all down there as well. But just one more minute before we go into it. I made this course not to focus on my experience or my information, even though I've got years of client experience and I've learned through my own journey of professional development. This is a course which is built around people teachers, men and women who know more than me, more than you, and I've brought them together in a 36 book curriculum that forms the backbone of a genuine shadow integration journey. That's all I can really share. I got frustrated with the shallowness of social media. I knew there was more. I went into the library. I read for four, five or six hours a day every single day for four years. I spent the last six months filming a curriculum that feels somewhere between a master's degree seminar room and a series of very good therapy sessions. This is a unique course and I'm so proud of it and I'm happy to be sharing it with you now. But just as a final, final reminder before we go into it, it's about work, it's about the hard work, it's about the reading, it's about the difficult and the dark traumas, as well as the peaks of human potential, but that's what I've done. Let's go into it. Let's imagine that it's a beautiful sunny day, you've successfully purchased the Shadow Work Library and you're clicking into my course for the very first time. This is what you could expect. You're going to get lessons, you're going to get timestamps, and you're going to get recommended reading because each module in the Shadow Work Library, as you can see from this sidebar over here, has a structured module by module curriculum, which means that there's between three to six books, module specific, so that you can organize your own learning arc. You might not have experienced something like this before, so let's take a little bit of a moment to break down just how this works. Let's go over to example, advanced introduction here, archetypes, parts, and shadow subpersonalities. We'll click on the archetypes and overview, and you'll see that we've got a lesson that is on the archetypes. I'm not going to play it for you. And down here, we've got recommended reading archetype by Anthony Stevens and the archetypes in the collective unconscious by our main man, Carl Jung. This is all very well and good, and I could assume that you've got all of these books on your bookshelf already in an ideal world, but that is completely unrealistic. So I wanted to make something which felt accessible, which is why we go over here to the reading list and book reviews, and we will see right there, Archetype by Anthony Stevens. Every single book in this course, all 36 of them have a dedicated video book review. Some of them are detailed breakdowns of the chapters and the lessons or key quotes. Others, like this particular one from Anthony Stevens, have more of an actual teaching element to them, and I'm explaining some of the archetypal and biological unconscious and a variety of other things. Um, but then you'll see here, it links back to the lesson that we just saw. 2.3, the archetypes and overview. I've tried to make it as fundamentally navigable as possible, and even using this particular style of 
formatting the lessons and the exercises where you can see that it's broken down in quite a linear fashion, but it's because it's quite complex territory. Overall, we've got 77 main lessons with 20 of those being guided exercises. And we can see, for example, if we go to module three on the collective shadow, violence and conflict, let's click on exercise one, identifying and releasing your toxic hate bonds. Not over here. Back in here. There we are. We've got this video, which is currently loading up if I click on it and you can see my journal. My journal is the companion for myself and also the companion that I recommend you get for yourself as you're going through the entire course because this is not meant to be just a theory-based experience. I want it to be actually useful. I've taken the very best exercises that I've discovered in my private practice with clients over the last few years and put them into this course between the theory lessons. For example, in this particular module on the collective shadow, you can see that we have the hostile imagination, we're exploring hate bonds, and then we have an exercise about your personal hate bonds. We then go into the inferiority and superiority complex. We have a lesson on the social media shadow, shadow projection, and online collective hostility. We look at men versus women, the psychology of evil. And then we've got another exercise right there at the bottom, self-purification and confessing your worst moments, which I truly believe to be the most hard-hitting and confrontational exercise in the entire course. I'm not going to share it with you right now. I'd need to do a lot of censorship on that one because it's a real shadow work course. I'm not trying to give you good feelings that will make you feel like you integrated something that actually you're not even in contact with. We're trying to blend the theory and the practice together. Let's move over onto module four here, shame and self-destruction. Forgot to mention, here's the introduction. Introduction has all basic foundational lessons that you'd expect in a shadow curriculum. You can see this down in the pinned comment if you really want a lesson by lesson breakdown. Module four, let's click on another exercise. For example, reframing your inner critic, no more toxicity. Again, same idea. There's the journal. Here's me talking through it, exercise journal and activity. You'll notice that I haven't timestamped every single part of this lesson because I don't want you to ruin your own experience of going through a therapeutic process. And if this video looks familiar or the other video also looks familiar to you, it's because I've already uploaded those to YouTube. This is actually the middle point in my shadow work library launch playlist, mini crash course curriculum kind of thing that I'm doing. And I've uploaded three hours of course material onto YouTube for you to watch for free immediately by clicking the shadow work playlist link in the description. So you can get a good feel for not only this exercise, but three hours of content from the course, which isn't even 10% of the course, I'm trying to give as much as I can away for free for anyone who would really like to go deeper with me, but doesn't have the financial resources just yet to actually make that commitment. I hope that these videos form a bit of a crash course mini curriculum in itself. And there's going to be an eight part shadow work series Q and A coming up, but this is the module back to the shadow work library where we're looking at shame and self-destruction exercises and lessons on the inner critic, on toxic shame, on apathy, depression, addiction, and how to move towards authentic self-love and high self-esteem. If we move into module five, again, building on the foundation from the collective shadow understanding, all of the various shadow projection, shadow psychology foundations in the first two modules, we then start to go into trauma and inner child work. You can see over here, if, for example, we go on to the first lesson in the module, we have a detailed lecture breaking down the actual psychology of what's happening to the traumatized brain and body, referencing again Complex PTSD by Pete Walker. If we go into the reading list, we will see right there Complex PTSD by Pete Walker, cross-referenced for that lesson with a full video review over here. And as you can see from the timestamp, I wish I read this sooner. This is an encyclopedic book of exercises and insights. Every single lesson is like this. You'll see that I'm weaving in the books. I'm trying to put it through in a way which introduces books at the right time, because even the best book at the wrong time is arguably useless. So I try not to bring in too much theory too quickly, just the right amount but it's something that you're going to have to experience yourself. I'm not going to break it down in too much detail. You can see here again, inner child and trauma. You can read it yourself. Moving on to the next module, module six, which is personally my favorite module in the entire course, because 
as you saw from the video that I shared on YouTube, the rage and anger working with somatic explosiveness. It's something which means a lot to me. We're wearing the same shirt. Um, no surprises there, I filmed this a few months ago, but this module, I can't do it full justice. Look at these lessons. We're looking at depression, we're looking at anxiety, we're looking at rage, we're looking at interesting exercises related to mirror work, embodiment, and also mapping your overall overall trauma timeline. That's this taking inventory exercise after some basic scientific unpackings of the nervous system and somatic therapy. This is one of those real like the body is the shadow kind of modules we'll move rapidly on now to not take up too much time there's some words that i can't say here on youtube but you can see intimate shadow love lust and traumatic intimate compulsion and again another exercise trying to make it all practical embedded between these various lessons on masculine healing and feminine healing and then building towards conscious relationships we have the journaling exercise and we have a video that you've already seen on YouTube, and you can watch that again, link down in the description if you haven't gone there already. It's a full module. I can't, I can't really talk about it too much on YouTube because I would have to censor my language, unlike in the course, where I say every single word as it's actually meant to be without any of this silly self-infantilization, which I think I've honestly spoiled myself with because it's so much better to do it that way. Let's move on to module eight on transpersonal psychology and the stages of consciousness. We have here a lecture on psychosynthesis, and this is again something that you've seen on YouTube already. You can see it cross-referenced down here. There'll be a book review video that you can click on. You get the idea. We're moving through the higher stages of personal development here, moving towards eventually the final module where we're looking at the spiritual shadow. And as you can see from me holding up the books, this is something that I do in the module overview of every single module where you see here are three books. This is the entire module broken down. That's the idea. The idea of the course as quickly and as condensedly as I can possibly make it is that we're looking at the teachers and we're looking at the genuinely high level material, the majority of which was honestly written before the creation of the internet. It's not modern books which are going into this territory of self-marketing, self-promotion, these are teachers which were writing for a dedicated audience of a couple hundred people, maybe a couple thousand people. Some of them got lucky and got mainstream breaks. For example, Robert Johnson himself, he wrote this book and I think over 150,000 copies sold. Actually, 175,000 front cover tells me because this is a reprint. Most of them didn't get reprints, so make sure to get the books before they sell out. Let's go back into the course. We have the spiritual shadow over here. Once again, spiritual emergency, spiritual repression, spiritual bypassing, spiritual narcissism, cult mentalities, exercises and soul contact and higher intuition, and how to get on your life purpose and life path. This is where we're going into peak potential. Realistically, these four modules, module six, module seven, module eight, and module nine, is when we start to move towards the self-actualization content rather than the initial learnings and foundations on the basics of the shadow and the basics of trauma. We go into this very, very practical territory, and we then have a variety of other modules, including an exclusive discount or an exclusive offer for one-to-one -one mentorship, but what I'm particularly interested in sharing with you is this bonus Q&A private vault. And you can see that this is a space where there is zero censorship, and it's like what I'm doing on YouTube, but exclusively for course students uploading new videos every week. And you just get me with my focus at true depth without needing to hold anything back. It's a special, I suppose, something I wanted to do for the core students who really take this work seriously. I think that's everything I can share with you as immediately as I can. I'm going to put the laptop down just for now. You can see all of the lessons and all of the modules broken down in the comment section. And if this has been a somewhat disorganized and disjointed video from me, it's because I've literally never done a screen sharing breakdown of a course before because this is my first course. I trust the material. I trust the teaching. I know I have created such a wonderful shadow integration journey for you in here, but my expertise isn't technological screen sharing and video optimization. I just wanted to share with you what's inside the course and try and give you an invitation to go deeper with me. If you want more time to try and decide is this the right fit for you, as I mentioned before, I've uploaded 
three hours of material already onto YouTube for free. You can click the shadow work playlist in the description. Or if you already know that you're ready to join me at True Depth, if you're ready to get out of the constant hamster wheel of shallow social media, trauma healing, self-development content, and come to True Depth with me, join me in the Shadow Work Library, also linked in the description, and I'll see you in there with a very warm heart. I'm honestly very proud of this work. It's the best work I've ever produced in my life, and I am itching to share these 36 books with you. But if that's not enough just yet, you can click the Shadow Work playlist over here. We're going to be doing an eight-part Q&A, Shadow Work-specific focus, where I'm going to basically condense the entire course into its fundamental essence for everyone for free on YouTube, because I just want people doing this work.